Everybody, Elite Golden here, and welcome back to Operation Andromeda. It is the 18th German turn. We are now playing on purchased time. We're just borrowing it right now uh, because the game could be over at any moment. Major Foe rolled a 9, but uh, oh boy, the Axis have a little bit of ground to make up before we want the game to end. So let's get this started. We're going to go for Advanced artillery we're gonna go for jet fighters let's see what else is there what else um, I could have sworn that I had more things on the board than just those two uh, yeah we'll go for improved construction and um, radar we'll start that up just because why not so first things first advanced artillery eight that is a success to get on the boards with radar, seven or better, uh, an eight. Not too bad. Uh, jet fighters for an eight. It's a six. Jet fighters are really stalled out there. Um, oh, and I skipped improved construction. I think. Um, in any event, it's probably probably uh, too late to finish that technology, but that's a miss anyway, so we are good to go. Germany has $101 and we're spending $101. Let's actually nix two of those militia real quick because we're going to get some rail. Um, almost forgot about that. Okay, so uh, yeah, so take, take this, no, yeah, it was two dollars for a railroad two times two is four boom we're using all of our money and we're going to finish an airfield we're going to start an airfield we're going to build a minor factory buy an airborne an anti-aircraft gun a strat bomber lend lease a medium bomber three fighters three infantry five militia and two militia upgrades so we've got quite the whack of stuff Okay, so let's just do uh, Spain and France first, since that's a little bit easier. Uh, Vichy France is actually going to do something this turn. And we're going to take our fleet, go one, two, over to here. And uh, we're going to naval and invade French Morocco. Um, and in doing so, Vichy France is going to send their fighter over to here just to help in case that sub wanted to come out. Uh, I talked to Arbubs, he said no, so that should be pretty easy. I uh, had a bit of a rules discussion. Subs are hard. I, I, can, I barely have a grasp on subs, and so he and I were kind of talking through a few things, but eh, we can't do this. <laughs> That's as easy as that. So then we're going to uh, do the recruitment roll. And uh, 10 isn't going to cut it, so that's it for them. Spain, nothing's going on. So we'll just roll our recruitment die for Spain, and then we'll be on to the real German turn. Four, I don't think. I, I only have three. I only have three, so four is no good. Um, okay, so now we're into attacks. Uh, of course, these guys are going to raid. Um... This seaplane comes out to attack the coastal sub. Ooh boy. All right. So one, two fighters from here, and two fighters from Paris. Uh, so they're going to go one, two, three, and we're going to port strike that transport. And these guys are also going one, two, three, and we're going to port strike uh, the transport. And I did ask, and the Allies are opting to scramble uh, their Air Force. So we'll have a minor showdown here. Um, for one round, and one round only, so not too terribly big of a deal. 
Oh yes, rockets. Um, okay, so this rocket is going to go one, two, three. And we're going to hit the dockyard in Gibraltar. Um, let's see, and then we're going to do a rocket at the major and a rocket. Actually, that the major's already damaged, so. Hmm, a rocket is not going to be worth it at the major then because of improved construction. I just realized that he has. So we're going to send it at the minor factory. Hopefully we can do something to that. Um, and then let's see. Let's see. What to do. Uh, yeah, we might as well turn it against the Soviets. So we'll shoot it at that minor factory then. There. Actually, no, we probably should shoot at the major factory just because if we can get that inoperable, then we're in business. So we've got those. Those are all the more or less simple attacks. Um, so we've already cut the rail there. We're going to take this transport plane, go one, two, three, pick up, four, five, drop off and uh Kobdo, and then go uh, six, seven, landing back in Turkestan. Panzer Grenadier goes one, two, uh, claiming those for the Germans. I'm not going to roll too terribly many dice this turn. Um, this cavalry is going to go one, two, up to Saratov with this light tank. And one. Two, or let's, let me just, yeah, two fighters, three tactical bombers. We're gonna send one infantry up there, just to take that for free. Then these three aircraft are going to Tula Lipetsk. Adolf will not scramble, and we'll just peel off two infantry to there, and is that all of the attacks? I want to say it is. I want to say that's all of the attacks, but let me survey the situation just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, we're feeling pretty good about that. Pretty, pretty decent. All right, so now um, let's get on with it, I suppose. Um, first things first, let's do some raiding. We've only got two dice now. The seaplane and the fighter are really doing a number, so let's see. That's a draw, nothing there. And for the last sub, of course, Germany's black. Uh, three total damage. So we'll just subtract that really quick. One, two, three. We'll take our pot shot here for a three or less. No dice, it survives. And then we'll just land this over here. Um, actually yeah, because it can still go one, two, three with long range aircraft as well as a seaplane hangar, so we'll be good there. Um, those were the easy battles. Then we got some harder battles, um, but there's no scrambling over here, so perhaps we can do that uh, real quick. Yes, okay. I feel like I'm forgetting some battles, but I don't think I am. It's just kind of that unfortunate feeling, but oh well. So let's do this. So cavalry is at a three. Light tank is also at a three. Let me just make sure that's correct. Light armor, cavalry, perfect. So these guys are at threes to start. There's one hit. And then we've got two fighters. Those are at sixes. Uh, six and a nine, so it's a second hit. 
And now we have one, two, three tactical bombers, so we'll see if we have to roll another one. Uh, and nope, that's everything. So now for two or less, nothing there, and the last two for two or less. Oh man, that's pretty good. So, that will kill the ground forces, and I don't take Saratov. Now on to here. Oh, I should have kept those dice. Shucks. We'll just grab them. Yeah, this will be easy enough. All right, so here's for the uh, tactical bomber first. Miss, here's for a fighter. Miss, here's for the other fighter. Miss, here's uh, for uh, infantry to one, other infantry to one. And the response. All right, I'm going to get more dice. I'm just going to grab them. Okay. All right, so the fighters are black. The tactical bomber is green. Wow, that's crazy. And then infantry out twos. Militia. There's my aircraft. <laughs> There's a hit. Tactical bomber barely gets it. And the militia misses. Okay. So, that was something to say the least. These guys are going to go land over here, but that's non-combat, so it doesn't particularly matter. Um, and then let's go over here, so they'll be always looking for dice. Grab, what is clone this dice? All right, so the anti-aircraft shots and the uh, possible damage. Four damage done from this rocket. Um, grab this. There we go. And over here, I'll just grab this stuff again. For the minor factory. Three damage. So this is used up. And the Soviet uh, miner. Oh, yeah, but the Soviet doesn't even get a shoot back. Um, or major, I mean. So that's two more damage dealt. Not quite as much as I would have hoped for. Still rolling pretty bad rocket damage. That was the first time I rolled above average, and that was a four. And four is pretty much average. So my rockets are a little unfortunate. But they are what they are, so no big deal. Now on to the fun stuff. One, two, three, four. Um, British. And American. So, one round of this, and we'll see what happens. Here's my fighters. Ooh, is that two hits? Are they, they intercepted three, I think. Yep, three is, dang, that's pretty good. I'll take two hits. But their jet fighters intercept pretty good. Um, one hit. I think they intercepted a five. Uh, jet fighters do intercept at a five. So, I lose one. He loses two. I'm just going to assume that they want to lose the regular fighter before the jet. And, so I think I now, again, I think I suffer anti-aircraft fire now, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll do that right now. Shucks, I totally forgot how that works. Let me see if I can just pull that up really fast. Port strike. I've done one port strike before, and that might have also been this game. Jeez, is it port attack? Yes, that's what it's called. Port attack. All right. 
scramble that just happened. Oh, is it a fight? Is it just a full actual combat? If there are fighters present, the casualties from these units will be taken by opposing aircraft. Oh, maybe I don't get attacked twice. Interesting. I suppose I hadn't even considered what would happen if there were fighters. I just assumed that it was a round of interception and then done. My apologies for taking the time on this. I should have, I should have, uh, well, anticipated that I wouldn't actually have it correct. All right, so how it goes, the defender decides wants to scramble, and he does. Both of them did. Uh, defender decides if fighters participate in combat or not. Combat occurs between attacking aircraft and defending fighters and ships in port. Okay, so actually what happens is he suffers three hits because that's a hit from a regular fighter. I'll go back and check the video, but I, I think that dice is correct. I don't think I rolled it again. Um, attacker, or so air supremacy first. Everybody was a fighter, so that was an air supremacy thing. I got three hits. He had three defenders, and they have to be taken on aircraft first. So I guess the aircraft comes off, and then the attacker rolls for remaining attacking units, but I don't have any more. Defender rolls for inherent anti-aircraft, one die per attacking aircraft. Um, now I suppose the question is, is no, since air supremacy happens first, I don't think I roll four dice. I think I just roll three dice. So here's for uh, all miss. So, yeah, well, I'll talk to the guys, see if I did that right. Um, but I think these guys get to go home, and I think they killed everybody else. That's crazy. Pretty Pretty best case scenario, losing only one fighter, not too bad. Um, so then I think that's it. I, I don't think I killed the transport because of air supremacy. But I do believe we're on a non-combat now. Let me just survey the board to make sure that I have it all right. But I think we're into non-combat. All right, so for non-combat, this cavalry comes up. Uh, this motorized one, two to Kometskaya, this one to Kometskaya, and they're both dragging an artillery with them. Then the tank destroyers go one, two as well. I'm going to put us all on a card because it's getting kind of gross. Oh, and I took the flag on accident. But yeah, everything's going to Kometskaya. Um, this will go to or I suppose this and this will stay here in Oral Kursk. This goes to Donitz Cuban. These guys go to Donitz Kuban, or it's either Kuban or Cuban. Um, one, whoops, one, two, he's also there. He's going to be here. We're going to send one guy that way. We're going to pull guy down here. He's going to go there. These guys are going to go one, two. All right. That's all of that. I haven't used any rail movement yet, so that's pretty nice. Uh, we're going to peel a little bit off from uh, here. We're going to go uh, one, two with medium armor. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good. That'll be pretty good. Now we're over here. 
And I suppose n about now we're getting to when we can um, uh, start using some rail movement. I was trying to be careful not to overuse and I suppose conversely underuse it. Uh, that guy's going to go up there. Uh, one rail is going to be one. Two is going to be to there. Three is going to be to up here. Four is going to be to Belgium. Here, let me just do. Let me just do my other thing really quick. These two strap bombers are going one to Western Germany, picking up the airborne. Come on, guys, come on. Quick, give me a hard time. Um, so one to Western Germany, two to Bavaria, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to Transcaucasia. Uh, that's their max movement uh, because they're not starting off at, an, at a base. Um, tactical bomber will go one, two, three, four, five to Romania. Um, infantry slides over one. Uh, these three fighters go to Paris. This infantry goes up to there for one. And he'll go up to one. All right. So, not too bad, not too bad. What's crazy is I think that's everything. So, let's get ourselves into placement. Whoops, the daisies. Grab all that. And we'll start swinging on down. Uh, we'll, no great place to put this uh, there. Not too bad. So um, this factory gets placed in Stalingrad. Um, this airfield finishes in Kiev. Oh, shucks, I should have kept that. And I'm starting an airbase in Stalingrad. There we go. So that's that. Let's go lay some railroad. So we've got a line in here. Um, we're going to just take this off, just connect that. Um, and let's see what else is important. I suppose, I don't know, might as well take this one off. So that's the two rail line, just kind of making that easy. Airborne and strap bomber placed in Romania. These were like that. Um, Italy gets a shiny new bomber. Three fighters to Western Germany. plus three infantry to Western Germany. Um, an anti-aircraft gun to Paris and a bunch of militia. So let's, whoops, that's not there. Okay, so that's what those guys are like. So we're gonna put one militia here. We're gonna put one militia here. Um, we're going to put one militia in Belgium, and now we have some militia militia upgrades. Actually, not in Belgium, in Denmark. That's where that militia is going to go. So now two militia upgrades and two militia placements, 
And what those are going to be is one in Holland. So strike, so that's a militia upgrade. Followed up by a placement. And let's do and what the heck, let's do Belgium. So just grab another infantry there. Sounds pretty good. Got a got a lot of guys. Need more militia next turn uh, for for a solid defense. But we're doing we're doing pretty good, especially if if I read the rules properly, that was a good turn. But if I didn't, it was still a pretty solid turn. Um, I also get a free fortification, and so I'll just put that facing this way. Yeah, that'll be all right. We'll do that. Whew, okay. Jeez, is that really everything? I think it is. So let's check the money situation. 84 plus uh, 6 plus 10. So that's 94 plus 2 is 96 plus 3 makes it 99. Hope to have a few more dollars from that attack, but... Hitting two for two is pretty good. So I think about it, $99. A little less than last turn. But I won't complain too much. Germany is uh, is not doing too bad for itself. So thank you everybody so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll send you on over to Adolf's channel for what he does next. Um, yeah, the Soviets and the... I don't know, it's getting interesting with the between the Soviets and the Germans. So we'll just have to see what happens in the coming turns. I'll see you all in the next one when it's Italy's turn. So till then, take care. Later.